Hot Aerospace relocates to USA. Beta has taken passengers to JFK and are also on their way to Norway. My name is Johan Einarsson and this is Future Country with some electric aviation updates. Whisper Aero has received funding to equip an Ariane Swift 3 glider with two of its ultra-quiet electric ducted fan motors. Supernal has taken to the sky with its eVTOL. Aura Aero has flown inverted with its Integral E electric aerobatic aircraft, an important step in the certification process. Hybrid aircraft manufacturer Hart Aerospace has laid off all its staff in Sweden and relocated to the United States. They had previously promised to fly their Hart X1, which uses only electric motors, in the second quarter of 2025. If that's still the case, uh, the flight should be imminent. For those that can't wait, I have already done the test flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator. See link in description. Diamond is set to test the combination of batteries and fuel cells in an eVTOL prototype. Joby has simulated various system failures, claiming that the pilot can still land using normal procedures, even with, for example, two motors out. Elysian continues to promise incredible performance for its all-electric aircraft and maintains that it will be able to carry 90 passengers over 500 miles, that is 800 kilometers, by 2033. If true, this could mean that most domestic flights in Sweden could be electric uh, within 10 years. But so far they are quite alone in these ambitions, so uh, we will have to wait and see. Turbulence Solutions has demonstrated that they can eliminate 80% of the vertical acceleration caused by turbulence. I believe this could be a key factor in making small electric planes and eVTOLs often sensitive to turbulence viable and comfortable to fly in uh, even in less than perfect weather. Beta has reached an important milestone taking passengers to JFK with their electric Alia aircraft. Beta are also on their way to Norway and Bristol Group for their test flights with a cargo version of the Alia this fall, with many stops and nice footage in Europe along the way. FlyNow has made its first untethered flight. Auto Aviation is progressing with their laminar flow hyper-efficient business jet, now called the Phantom 3500. One of the no compromise design decisions to reach laminar flow is to eliminate the windows and replace them with screens inside. There is however no longer any talk about battery, fuel cell or hydrogen turbine propulsion. It will get regular turbofan engines for jet fuel. Let's hope most of that will be SAF. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.